Good day, students. Uh, we're going to look at a solution now to number 1F, page 55, chapter 7 in book 3 of your Math 1025 booklets. And this question is asking us to multiply, and you can see that it's a binomial, and the binomial is squared. Now, one of the most common mistakes made is squaring a binomial. For example, we get something like 3x minus 2 squared, and we end up with 9x squared minus 4. Okay, so all they're doing is thinking they can square this and square this. This is totally incorrect. Okay, you cannot square a binomial and get a binomial. You square a binomial, always a trinomial. Square a binomial, always a trinomial. So let's, I'm just going to write that down in words. So if you have a binomial, and you square it, what will you get every time? You will get a trinomial, called a perfect square trinomial. It has a special name on it. Because this is what this means. That square there means multiply that binomial by itself. So you expand it. The first thing you do is expand it there. And then use go back to multiplying two binomials, which we've used the FOIL method or extended distributive property, whatever you want to call it. So we do this term times this term. Because now we have two terms times two terms. And when you have two terms multiplied by two terms, okay, you get four terms. And then you check and see if there's any like terms to add. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to take two terms, multiply it by two terms. Let me just get rid of some of this. Okay, so let's go through it. Now, 5x squared times 5x squared is 5x to the power of 4. Because we add the exponents, right? So, and we multiply the coefficients, so it should be 25, right? 5 times 5, 25. x squared times x squared, x to the 4. Good. Okay, we got that fixed. Now, 5x squared times negative 2y squared. Let's do the coefficients first. 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. x squared times y squared. All we can do is write those together like that. And then you do inside. So we do negative 10, and we get the same. Now, don't write it y squared, x squared. See that? Because you already got it written x squared, y squared. Stay alphabetical order, OK? So. What I'm going to do here is take that away and put down the same order. So I'll put x squared in front of y squared. So look, they look exactly the same. And the last term times the last term. So if you're doing the FOIL, still the same thing. Um, and we get positive because it's negative 2 times negative 2. 2 times 2 is 4. y squared times y squared is y to the 4. Now, when you expand a binomial squared, two inside ones will be exactly the same and you can combine them and you will get 25x to the 4 unchanged just carry it down combine the two like terms to get minus 10 minus 10 is minus 20 x squared y squared alright plus carry down this one 4y to the 4 and that's all you can do that now you've created a trinomial from a binomial squared so we've expanded the binomial to get a uh, squared to get a trinomial. Alright, so that's the solution for that one. Hopefully that helps. That's it for now.